Khan comes against cash for rapture pastor for auctioning heaven's ticket for a mere 310,000 naira. The Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Kaduna State Chapter, has disowned a pastor who promised members of his congregation heaven for 310,000 naira each. Hi everyone, this is Lagos and the association's chairman in Kaduna State, Reverend Joseph Hayab, denounced the proclamation of Ade Abraham while urging Christians in the state to disregard the fraudulent proclamation. Stay tuned to find out more in the video. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share this video. And of course, activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching. In a statement Wednesday 4 May in Kaduna, I have said the attention of Khan, Kaduna State Chapter, has been drawn to the news in some sections of the media about one pastor described as Ade Abraham offering to take his members to heaven if they pay 310,000 naira. Through Abraham's offer of a ticket to heaven, though Abraham's offer of a ticket to heaven is cheaper than ransom, Kaduna bandits ask their victims. Sadly, Khan has not found anyone that knows the location of a church or established a church in Kaduna town with that name. According to Hayab, a faceless character like Ade Abraham can easily give the faith of a community a bad name, especially that Khan cannot trace his whereabouts or find any useful information about his whereabouts in Kaduna. Is it possible that Abraham, before becoming spiritual, had lived in Kaduna? Or did he come to Kaduna for a visit, I have said. How can we have such a pastor and nobody knows him, only for us to read about his drama in the media, whereas the journalists in Kaduna do not have this information. Kaduna Khan appeals to whosoever knows Ade Abraham or the location of a church in Kaduna links to the alleged person to furnish it with the information so that we could work with security agencies to re prevent what could further compound the security challenges in the state, affirming that it will not decide what sermon her priests should preach, Khan said it would not hesitate to expose fake preachers when it finds one, especially when the sermon contradicts the teachings contained in the Bible. It therefore called for investigation of a so-called pastor's identity and the location of his ministry to put the record straight and to avoid creating panic and misleading the public. Khan wishes to advise the Christian faithful not to rush into accepting every kind of teaching without first studying the scriptures to understand if what the preacher says is true, like the Berean believers who study the scriptures day and night to confirm whether what Apostle Paul was saying was true. May God deliver us from unholy preachers, I have added. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.